Okay, now after some uh, short break, I'm finally returning to extreme overclocking. Now with LGA775 once again and my Q8400 engineering sample CPU on the ASRock P45 is it X3 motherboard. I got this board from Ground from Germany. Apparently, this board should be pretty good for the Core 2 Quad CPUs when it comes to uh, FSB overclocking on the Quad Core CPUs. So as I don't have that much LM2 remaining and my X58 CPU binning kind of failed, I will be trying this CPU model quickly on this motherboard model. Yeah, if it uh, doesn't run good enough, I also have the Gigabyte EP45T UD3P, which is also a very strong P45 motherboard. So uh, just overall for the 2D tests, W Prime, Pi Fast, Super Pi validation. Uh, I got some uh, memory posting issues, but now it seems to run. So two sticks of Corsair Dominator GT 2007 over there. Kimping cooling F1 dark CPU container with the pink thermal paste from uh, Thermal Grizzly and C Sonic Prime 1300 watt platinum. So uh, let's see how this goes. I've never run this motherboard before, so. Uh, I just want to see how it goes. The temperature range on this CPU model isn't very cold, only like dry ice level, minus 60, minus 70, something like this. So uh, let's give this one a go and hope we could actually improve from where we left last time with Rampage Extreme. Because X48 really doesn't seem strong for the core 2 quad CPU models. So for initial test, I will just use one memory stick. Will be uh, tough to get the memory is high enough for 32M, etc. Okay, that should be it's actually a new record already. 8.2A4, 8.2A1. So yeah, top score with just one attempt. Q8400 engineering sample at 4.4 gigahertz on FSB very strong memory maybe this board is not the best but we'll see I want to try to get this higher the previous one was just a tiny bit slower minus 70 at the moment Okay, almost under eight seconds. So W primes we should be able to get pretty easily. Hardest ones will be the memory related tests. Yeah, the CPU is definitely good. This one will be under 8 seconds. W Prime 32, 177 something. Seven point nine six nine. The previous one was eight point two eight four by Electron Liber from uh, from France. But yeah, pretty strong. I want to see what's the max validation as well. I knew this CPU would be good when I first tested this one on the Rampage Extreme. Max valid is four point. 
747 with just one core, 590. 590 FSP. Okay, 580. Some efficiency related things, 7906 at 570 times 8. Double check this before we try 1000. 24 amp, 1024 amp should be easy as we have much better efficiency than the French guy. Okay, sometimes it sort of bugs, I don't know for what purpose. Okay, I'm still not fully sure about the efficiency, but this is uh, definitely the new top score with the Q8400 at 4.6 GHz. 251.218, previous top score by that French guy at uh, 272.267, so this is like 21 second improvement. The free uh, difference in the frequency was like 50 megahertz, so should be good enough if you ask me, but I'm not like 100% sure because I had some uh, flaky insta or efficiency problem in uh, Dublin Prime 32. We can also run that one. So yeah, 8.11. So I'm not like 100% sure. Okay, 10.078, almost half a second faster, but we are definitely closing the uh, limit as we were just crashing in Pi Fast, and this is Cas5. Maybe we could get under 11 seconds. And okay, this is the first proper run in Superbike 32 and with the Core 2 Quad Q8400. No matter if it's an engineering sample CPU, we got well below 10 minutes. I had a bit better run coming in as well. That would have been probably at like 9 minutes and 50 seconds at like 4.626. So this was at 4.607 gigahertz. Memory at 1530 something. Cas5, 564, 18, 54, common rate 1. ASRock P45 X3 Deluxe with the latest retail bows. So, uh, yeah, now we got everything in uh, the single thread stuff. I might do quick W Prime one more time, just out of interest. Okay, so I actually tried the Gigabyte EP45T UD3P, but it didn't really seem that good, to be honest, with the CPU model. I couldn't get any higher on the FSP. I think I was hitting a wall somewhere around like 560, and I just decided to go back to the original, but with the Northbridge on LN2, and that was definitely the key. When I ran the Northbridge on LN2, I could see 
clear temperature scaling down to like minus 70 on the north bridge and we could do the CPU-Z core frequency validation. I think the best was like 4.766 and the previous top score was like 4.747 and we got huge margins over the previous rank 1 score in the single for the tests. Only the W prime was definitely all right with uh, the North Bridge on uh, ambient cooling and a single memory stick or a single memory channel. I couldn't get any uh, like clear advantage now with North Bridge on LN2 when I quickly tried the W primes as well. Sadly, my server 2003 just died, so I cannot run anymore. I still have like a few liters of LN2 remaining, but nonetheless, we got all the scores we were looking for. As I've had this CPU model, the Q8400, the engineering sample CPU lying around here on my tables for maybe two years, something like this. So uh, it was awesome to get those scores back and, the, and to actually get the CPU thoroughly tested. But anyway, so 1M, we got down to like 11.074, I think. First 11.188 and then under 11.1. So we got like a half second improvement over the previous rank one score made by some French guy, I think. PyFast, I think our best run was under 21 seconds, like 20.8 something. We saw like 21.6, then 21.3, 21.2, and then finally, below 21 seconds the best run of them all or the hardest one was definitely the 32m because it's very flaky to run 32m uh, with uh, good memories common rate one etc so the memory was at like 1500 something cas 5 so 5 6 4 18 common rate one etc and we got a score of 9 minutes 53 point something I had a bit better run coming just before that one, but it crashed at like, uh, it, but it crashed at like loop 23. I think it would have been something like nine minutes and 50 seconds. If I could get the memories running, and I'm sure I can do it at like uh, 1800 to 1900 with CAS5, like uh, similar timings, I think we should be able to squeeze even more, like nine minutes, 40 something seconds. But yeah, so this is uh, my first, like the lower end, uh, Core 2 Quad CPUs. I managed to take down all of the top scores with. We'll see what happens next. I have uh, maybe one or two pretty decent Q9550 CPUs. I think I have 9650 somewhere and uh, like E8200. Apparently this Astroc board is good for the Core 2 Quads. But if you want to run, let's say, Wolfdale, the lower end model, like E8200, I'm pretty sure the uh, EP45T UD3, uh, UD3P should be better than this one. But this board is definitely strong for the Core 2 quads. But uh, depending on your motherboard sample, you might need to run the Northbridge on LN2, like here. Huge difference between ambient cooling and LN2, and I don't use any mounting on the Ellen, uh, on the North Bridge port at all, just gravity, whatever, and it seemed to work, but it was pretty difficult to get it mounted, like, uh, well enough. But yeah, so uh, huge thanks to Ground, uh, as uh, it's not easy to find this particular motherboard model from the second-hand market nowadays. And yeah, all of the top scores are already uploaded on hardwarebot.org at the time you are watching this video. So please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Maybe check out my Patreon page as well if you want to support my work and if you want to get in touch with me personally regarding, let's say, legacy or legacy platforms, overclocking, new hardware, whatever you wish. So yeah, so thanks for watching some of my legacy overclocking content once again. And I will see you on the next one.